Hi guys, sorry it's been so late to do an update on my pregnancy logs. Um, of course I've been busy moving to a new place, so this is like um, new scenery you see here. I'm um, still not done with the apartment so I'm not going to show you um, anything yet. Um, so this is a recap for weeks 28, 29, and 30, almost a whole month. Nothing much has changed. Um, just the same symptoms, a little more stronger, if we can say that. Um, the baby movements are are a lot now. They're a whole lot. Don't mind me not looking at the camera because I just can't. I, I, don't, I don't like doing videos like this on my phone. But I moved into my new place and there's no Wi-Fi or nothing yet. Still waiting on that. So I'm doing this through um, my iPhone and then YouTube capture or whatever. So um, yeah, the past few weeks just been moving and baby's really really active in there and I've been very tired I don't know if it's due to moving or just same thing you know you're just tired of being pregnant already um I am 30 weeks and I think let me see how many days in five days so I'll be 31 weeks soon which means I only have 10 to 9 weeks left so exciting uh, I don't really have much stuff for the baby yet, so it's getting there. We uh, mentioned in if you if you were looking at any of my um, videos of me moving updates and stuff, um, we're not gonna we don't have a crib, so now we have to buy a new crib. So that's not, one of the things I have to buy the crib. I have to still buy the snap and snap and go stroller. Um, probably buying it used because it's kind of expensive. I could get it at Walmart for like 35 bucks, but every Walmart I'm going to, they don't have it. So, Target has it for like 70 bucks, but yeah, I don't want to spend that much if I could get it at Once Upon a Child for cheaper. So, um, I do have a car seat, have a playpen, some clothes. My brother bought me a few more things. I bought my boppy. He bought me a boppy, which was awesome because they were running like 35 to $40, and we got a TJ Maxx for 25 So not bad at all. Um, my symptoms have been, you know, heartburn has been very, very crazy. I try to catch it on time and take Tums a couple times a day. At nighttime, drink a lot of milk. Try not to have any crazy snacks at nighttime because that's going to make you, um... Anything makes you have heartburn because the baby's taking up so much room in there that it squishes your stomach. He's the size of a cucumber now, about like the closest, like 17 inches, I believe, and weighing almost four pounds. So yeah, that's about it. Um, base has cleared up pretty much. Less stress, but the stress will be coming right back because school starts tomorrow, and I have no internet to start school. So today, somebody's supposed to come to put the cable, but. Yeah, last time they tried to come on Fridays, they couldn't do it. They had to drill holes for new stuff. I don't know. So, let's see what happens this time. I hear all these noises now that I don't live in the basement. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it, seriously. I'm just, you know, getting bigger. So barely. You know, and everyone was like, oh, you're, you look smaller than when you were with Joshua. And I was like, you know what? And I wish I could calculate. I was very close to giving birth, like three weeks before giving birth. I had my um, baby shower, and they measured my stomach. Now, see this right here is toilet paper roll. If all toilet shape papers are the same sheet size, I, when they did my, um, you know, the little game they do, they measure the stomach, they do with toilet paper and sheets. And the winner was 11. The winner was 11, um, sheets. So I measured 11 sheets and that was 44 inches. That was 44 inches. Maybe I could have grown one inch or two more with my son, who knows. But it I wasn't measuring and stuff like I was this time. So, I do have some time to grow because I was... Three weeks before giving birth, I have ten more weeks to go. So people thinking that I'm gonna, um, that my son, I was you know bigger with my son. Yeah, I, you know I I was, but that was at the end. So I still have plenty. Ten weeks is plenty of time to grow. You'd be surprised how quick somebody can grow in ten weeks. So yeah, 
Um, so let's measure my tummy. I got stretch marks. I couldn't, I couldn't stop them. So. You know, this is going to be a good shot here. Huh. So, I'm trying to see where the stretch marks are. Hold on, let me pull this. I see a stretch mark. Oh, I think that, yep, right there. And I feel like right here, something's going to, this is a stretch mark. I don't know, are you stretching some more? I don't get it. Yay, upside down. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing today. Oh my, my craziness. I swear, I don't be knowing what I'm measuring anymore. Crying. Let's just say 42. 42 and I was 44, my son. So I still have this much more to grow if I was to be 44 like with my son. This much more to grow, that's I'll probably end up being bigger. Who knows? Oof, God help me. I won't be too big. So yeah, that's about it, um, yeah, nothing else to update on, I think, it's just a quick little video of what's been going on, um, let me see, oh, the sciatica, I think it's called, I've been having that, I think that's what it is, because, um, like when you get up, and then like you start limping, and your lower back hurts real bad, and it's like, it's like a nerve or something. I think I had it before. I remember having it a little before pregnancy. I used to take these certain pills. Carousel pulse. I don't like that. Some weird pills. And yeah, I didn't like those pills that much because they just make drug you up and stuff. So, um, you can't tell me you're pregnant anyway. A lot of this stuff, I think it was because of moving. I did not stay still for nothing in the world. Um, my hand. Oh my god, my hand's still killing me from moving. You know, of course I didn't do any heavy lifting or anything like that, but just picking up bags and bringing them up, all that stuff, all the sweeping and cleaning and all that stuff, you just get so tired. So, yeah. Um, trying to think of what else. Yeah, that's the style. I think everything, all my aches and pains are mainly because I was moving, I swear. It had to be that. Now it's like relaxation time. Uh, tomorrow I start school. It's on three online courses. I know I have like a week to do those assignments, but still I really want to have internet in the house because I don't want to go into somebody's house. I really don't. I have to go to like my aunt's house for internet. And my son doesn't start school till after Labor Day, the second. Yeah, and I already looked at some of the syllabus. My three classes I'm taking, I'm taking up human services in case you guys didn't know. And it's my sec um human services class. One of them is um it's called professional ethics, something like that. That one doesn't look bad at all. You just read chapters, answer questions, respond to other students excuse me, other students' questions and quizzes. So it's like thirteen, fifteen weeks I think it is. And that's perfectly fine with me. And then what's the other class? Child psychology, that looks good. Oh, it's really easy. Like, the guy, the teacher, I don't know. I just, like, I saw stuff like, read a chapter, take a quiz. Read a chapter, take a quiz. And I'm like, no answering questions. Like, it will say, my mom, you don't have to answer questions or something. That's weird. But then the worst, there's always one class that's the worst, and it's one of my worthless classes, too. But it's part of the, I think that's how the college makes their money. American government. That has not, what the hell does it have to do with human services? I do not know. But then I'm going to have three essays to do. One is due <laughs> October 11th, which I'll still be pregnant and stuff, hopefully. 
The second one's due around the 8th of November, which I'm like, oh my god. So, party. Had the baby already, but anyway, three, three essays all split up and quizzes, so. I'd rather, I really hate essays, but three of them aren't too, too bad, I guess. So we'll see what happens. Now when Josh starts school, I'll be so excited to have a little bit of a break. But yeah, stay tuned for next week's um, pregnancy vlog. Okay, guys? Bye.